stop, take a moment, go get your favorite brew, and join me on this next video. Welcome back here to the shop. I've got a tool here that might be new to some and might be not so new to others, but it's a pick -a room and I wanted to share with you what this is and how it's used and how I use it. I have found it to be a real lifesaver. So come down here on the bench with me and we'll look at them a little closer. All right, these are pick -a -roons. And these are some that I have made or fabricated out of old axe heads. If you ever find an axe head that's made in China or um, Taiwan or someplace like that, it's probably ne not necessarily worth collecting. And so when I come across something like that, I usually make something like this. These things are used a lot in lumber mills. You can reach out and grab a board and you can pull it over to yourself and things like that, especially when you're reaching in towards saw blades and things like that so that you don't have to stick your hands in there. This is generally a really good tool. The thing is, is that this tool here has been polished up a little bit better than some of the others, but it doesn't work as well as some of the others. And if you look real close, that point is, is kind of rounded for the most part around this edge. And what makes these things so useful is the, uh, the shape of a bird's beak. I don't know if you can see that real well, but you can see it's flat here on the bottom and it's kind of pointed up here at the top. And so when you make them like this and you make them flat on the bottom and pointed on top, they are very, very useful. These two here are the ones I use the most. In fact, if you note, these two came out of the same ax head. So if you can imagine an ax head here, and this was the shape of the bottom of it, and I just cut that off, and then this upper half I used to make the rest of this. I think it came out of this one. I don't think it came out of this one. Although it very well might have. That's about the right size. I'm not sure which one. But anyways, this is a drop-off of one of the others. So I'm going to take you outside and demonstrate these and show you just how useful they are. Alright, we're out here and we've got some wood to take care of and to process. I want to show you how we use these pickaroons. First one here to demonstrate is the larger one. And you can take this, and what's neat about it is you grab a big piece of wood, you can drag it, get it to where you want it, and tip it up. And if you need to get a better bite, you can. And then you just use this as your handle and put it up here on your chop block. All of that, and you did very little bending over. You weren't trying to get down underneath it. Uh, most of it's all using your legs, and so it is very, very efficient. Now, the littler one is great for when you got everything chopped up and you're ready to pick up things. You can just grab them off the ground, stick them right up into your arms. And once you've got an arm load, you can take them over to the log pile, put them up there. And so again, very little bending over. It's very useful. It grabs hold of and bites. You can use this as the handle. And then when you get it in your hand, you pull down on it and it just pops right out. One thing you want to be very cautious of is where your foot is at. If this were to come through here and bounce and hit your foot, that would be dangerous. It's best to have your foot above it and in front of it, or plenty, plenty of a distance away, so that you're not hitting yourself. Pick each one of those up, and you can get it all taken and put away. So when I first saw these tools, I thought, what a gimmick. And yet they have turned out to be 
some of the most useful that you can work all day with them it doesn't break your back and you're not having to get down underneath things and you can pick up pretty good pieces with it and all because of these pickaroons they're also called hookaroons i'm not sure what else they'd call them there are some that i've seen some name brands that are just a round peg that comes out of the stick there i'm not sure exactly how those are titled but um these things are great so i hope you've enjoyed this uh, if you get a chance and you want to try to make one of these for yourself hope you'll take that chance and who knows you might find it a better way to stack your firewood and to do your your chopping tasks so thanks so much for joining me on this we'll see you on the next video i hope god bless Thank you.